These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Uh, 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 all right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here, and today I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna do a review for quite literally, I think, the nicest mod that's literally ever come across my desk. This is the Flow AIO, F L O, from Geppetto Mods. It's introducing a whole new Simi. I think it's called Simi. We're gonna call it the Simi. Boro. It's for Boro Bridges and it's a whole new tank platform for it. It's integrated into the device. Kind of. Let's go to the desk. All right. Well, I'm going to do everything I can to make this the most beautiful, best looking uppy closey that I can possibly muster because th it's just a beautiful device. There's not pictures or videos that will really do this justice. It's so palmable. Can't even get it on screen. So palmable. So ergonomic. The Simi system, which is what this tank is, we'll talk about that in a second, two big airflow holes on either side. I mean, I can hold it like this, have a thumb fire button, and I kind of just rest my finger across the front. It doesn't really get in the way of the airflow. In fact, it doesn't really get in the airflow, get in the way of the airflow on this side either. Let's take a look at this. It's got a little screwy bottom here. I'm going to take this battery out for some reason, even though we all know how these work. This is far and away my least favorite way to get a battery into a device. Sometimes there's no other option. And in this case, there's clearly no other option. You, you got to do it this way. And man, I hate it. Just the worst. But hey, look, there's a battery positive side in first. There's a USB-C right there. Two little BB style buttons for adjusting things. They're super hyper clicky. Geppetto has their own custom flash DNA 60C on here across the top. I got a battery level indicator. I got wattage. I got resistance. This number here is for the boost. If I had boost mode on, I could choose the boost number and then the little symbol at the bottom there. Let's see if we can get down there. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's the menu system. We can futz with the coil. We can see stats. We can adjust the display, do things like turn the brightness down, turn the stealth on, turn the boost on. Maybe my boost is on. It's the DNA 60C. It does a lot. It's got a full temperature control suite and it's got regular straight up wattage for regular straight up normal ass wattage vapors like myself. So like I said, this is the SIMI system or the SIMI system. I think it's SIMI and clockwise is going to loosen it. There's a little wheel down here with a little threaded 510. Clockwise is going to start loosening the tank off of here. And then the whole thing just separates. Holy cow, look how clean all of this stays. This is about a week with the Mob 2 inside of this semi tank. Nothing, not a nothing dribble of liquid, a speck even anywhere. Thank God, because I don't want this wood messed up. It's all engraved right there. Geppetto, the semi system, super standard issue locking nut on top. This is the mob two on the inside. And while this is designed to work with a lot of Boro RBAs, it's not going to work with all of them. And you have to specify when purchasing which bridge you're going to be using and which or which RBA rather you're going to be using because there's going to be, see this tiny little chimney? You see this thing? That causes flavor, you see? The flavor improvement in the Mob 2, which look, the Mob 2 had good flavor to begin with, but now having that tiny little chimney on there and having the coil so close to your face hole, man, that translates into rockin' good flavor. I'm not going to take this apart right now. Oh. Do I have to take this apart right now? You jerks, you're gonna make me take this apart right now. Locking nut comes out with the back of the tweezers. I'm gonna try to do this without losing any actual liquid. It's kind of, I don't know, a little bit like a giant crypt tank, except the Mob 2 threads into the bottom of this. Threaded connection, fascinating. You know what? I might as well just take this time to re-wick this because there's liquid Fucking everywhere. I guess I didn't need to bring you in here with me. I'm just rinsing everything out. I guess I can show you this. I pulled everything out. The problem is the chimney comes out pretty easily. It usually sticks in here. So I usually have to bunk, pull it out. And this time the smaller chimney on top kind of stayed in there. I can't get in there. Uh, uh, two fingers. I'm going to need a tool or some sort to pull that chimney off of there. So. I can just get in here with some tweezers, just wiggle this off. There's a little O-ring up there. I really love and appreciate how big this is. It's easy to get in there, dry it all out. I love having that big tank, big opening, fill port on the side. And this particular semi tank, and I believe some of them are gonna be shaped differently. It, it's got a little like, boop, like just a little drip right there that helps it feel 
you know, like it's one piece, like it kind of just connects to the device. I'm gonna quickly wick this up <coughs> uh, for the inside. The Mob 2, like I said, just threads down to the base and when it's threaded all the way down, mine just kind of sits at, eh, you know, it's, it's whatever, like a tiny little angle. Doesn't really matter because the tank is so big, it's not gonna get in the way of your wicks wicking or anything like that. And then the custom tiniest, tiny little tiny chimney that's ever been a tiny chimney goes on top. And then that wide opening of the chimney is gonna go across that little O-ring right there. So we can just put this together now. And it should, yeah, boom, just press fits all together. Beautiful, this is like the home stretch. Get that locking nut back on. And then I can just literally set it on here and remember, counterclockwise is going to thread this down. It is a little bit spring loady down here, so I find a finger across the top kind of pressing down while I thread this really goes a long way. I'm just going to thread this down until it's secure, but also until the play goes away. There's, there's just a little bit of play right now, even with it screwed down. So I just go like, you know, like one, two, that's it play is gone, everything fits up, and, and don't go crazy, you know? I've gotten this stuck on here by making it too tight. It's honestly quite easy, quite intuitive. The last thing, one ugly Ultem drip tip to match the liquid to kind of match the wood. <sighs> That's it. All right, I don't think I'm handing out any banana stickers, but let's get back out to normal view. Oh, I mean, look at it. Just look at it. This is the, this is the nicest device that I think I've ever owned. It's, it's, it's so nice, I feel like I got no business holding it in my hand. You know who I am, I'm Grim Green. I review pods and shit. I review basic stuff. I review stuff for people who smoke cigarettes. I have no business with a device this nice, except I do, because I, man, I can appreciate this. After 15 years of just weird mods and some cool mods and a lot of cool mods and box mods and weird tubey mods and stab wood mods and space barf mods, I've seen it, it all, I think, and I've never been so swooned by just seeing this. I just saw this once in real life and couldn't stop thinking about it. It immediately became the most desired product I, I've, I've ever seen. But nothing prepares you for getting one in your hand, loading up that tank, putting a battery in. That's where like this nice like weight comes from. It just feels substantial. It is crazy ergonomic. I don't even want to say hand feel because there's actual like ergonomics going on here. The meaty part of my hand just kind of boom. It just rests in this little groove. Like there's a little ridge right here. I can just hold it. I got the fire button right here, detonator style. It's flawless. Get out of here. Get out. It's amazing. I can't get enough of this. I like vaping it. I like holding it. The Mob 2 has never had as good a flavor as it has right now. That tiny little chimney pushing the coil up towards your face hole, like I said, really makes a big difference in, in, in the flavor department. The airflow, Look, it's just beautiful. On all Boro bridges, on all Boro RBAs, the airflow is usually controlled with the pin underneath. So these two big holes on the outside, plenty, plenty of airflow. Have I talked about um, how comfortable it is to hold in your hand yet? Because it is, let me tell you, the meaty palm right here. I love this thing. I love it. I mean, I can't, I can't think of a thing to dislike about this other than the price. But this gets into the like, you know, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Shh. I'm not gonna give any banana stickers out. I'm just not, I couldn't. What, what is this, like 50? You know, this is flawless, this is perfection. This is a whole new Boro platform. It's an ergonomic stab wood, beautiful high-end device, DNA 60, 18, 650 on the inside. This isn't for like the general public market. This is for people who know what this is and will gladly, maybe not gladly, but willingly shell out the cash for one. Maybe I just don't get enough high-end stuff, so this just seems really amazing to me, but I think objectively, I think I have the ability to go, yes, this is objectively just dope as hell. Welcome to rambling.
What do you think? Is that too much crackle? Is that excessive crackle now? If you're watching this video and you for some reason still smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes, listen, I know they look cool, but it's time to switch. Literally all of the science says you should and it's never been easier. There's a world of much less expensive, safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm putting links to just science and just education. Yep. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free. Look how beautiful. Stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.